I think we're alone out here. the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Get back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on, huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, the name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30-06 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. 
Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Boss, I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Okay, you're all set. Heads up, we got incoming. Base camp was uneventful, but 
calm didn't last for long. Look, you weren't her only friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though? I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the Acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. <laughs> 